Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, and welcome to The Mummy Demastered, a game that was released in 2017 for the Switch, PlayStation 4, Steam, and I think other platforms as well. But anyway, this game is actually a 2D Metroidvania game, as you already know, I've been playing a lot of these recently on my channel. Uh, but I will say that this game is a perfect example of a game uh, in which you should not judge a book by its cover. Or in this case, a game by its cover. But you know the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. This game is a perfect definition of that. I say this because this game was based off the movie, The Mummy, that came out in the same year as this game was released. And that movie was pretty damn bad. Actually, it was very bad. And oftentimes, when it comes to video games that are based off of movies, 90% of the time, they're terrible. They're awful video games that should have never been made. But, this game is a notable exception. There's a couple others as well in gaming history, but this one is a good exception. It's actually a really good game. I'm not going to say it's like a critically acclaimed Metroidvania like Hollow Knight or the Ori games. No, no. But, it is still really good. It's still a good game and hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and start. So... There's my file right there, um, uh, as you can see my practice file. I actually know this game pretty damn well. Uh, let's go ahead and do a new game here, we're just going to start right there. Alright, so, alright, agents are a rare breed, trained to identify and react to situations far beyond typical understanding. I trust you prepare for the first mission, Agent, you're about to enter the world of gods and monsters. Whoa. I'm so excited about this game, this game is so fun in my opinion. And in many people's opinions, too, apparently. A lot of people actually like the game. No, your video did not freeze, okay? Somewhere in Iraq. Agent, we lost contact with our ground team several hours ago due to a developing situation elsewhere. You'll be going in alone to investigate any signs of disturbance and re-establish contact with the ground team. This is an area of great importance, and steps must be taken to maintain its security at all costs. Good luck. Alright. And we start just like that. So we get to move left and right. Our health is at the top left corner. Obviously very inspired by Metroid, as you can see. 99 health, right? Uh, you basically shoot with Y. You can jump with B. These caverns are unstable. Proceed cautiously. You should be able to jump over any uneven patches with B. Obviously you remember this from the party gym training. But simulation and field work are two different beasts. Once you get your bearings, locate the ground team and re-establish their communication with Prodigium. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, you can shoot with Y. You can actually hold the button to shoot non-stop. You can also aim diagonal at things if you would if you would like to. Or you can just, you know, keep running past stuff. Previous reports from our agents suggest the presence of a natural life forms in these ca caverns. It may be beneficial to destroy any such entities until we understand what happened to the ground team. If the targets seem unreachable, you can focus your shots by pressing and holding ZLZR, allowing you to aim your weapon in any direction. So yeah, you can, you know, do that. You can aim diagonal down. You can lock yourself too, because here's the thing. If you run, you can still aim diagonal while shooting, but you can actually press ZL and ZR to lock yourself from moving, which is actually really cool that like you're able to do that. Um, certain Metroidvania games do have this feature and others don't. And I really like the ones that let you do that because you get a lot more control over what option you would like. You know, like here, for example. Yeah, you can shoot through, like, these areas where you can just drop through and press B. Agent, there may be ledges in the caverns that you can drop through to proceed. Fully understand uh, your environment is an important part of any mission. Crouch and press B to... Yeah, I already talked about that. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot. Oh, okay. Or we can just go like this. You can just shoot them directly down. So you press down and jump to go through. It's pretty basic, as you know, I mean, pretty much every Metroidvania game out there has this feature where you can drop through those, like, you know, platforms and stuff. Let's keep going. Okay, there's a lot of these. You can also, uh, basically crouch. I think he had already mentioned that before you, but yeah, you can totally crouch if you wanted, you know, to do that. I'm just gonna be shooting all these, you know. It's fun to shoot these. Often, or caves often have narrow passages, but we can't let that delay us. If you find yourself unable to proceed, try crouching and pressing B to roll. This should allow you to squeeze into small spaces that would be otherwise impassable. Okay. Basically, so here's the thing. You can either do down and B, like he said, or if you're moving forward, you can just press A as well, and that works. Um, I find that to be easier. Although there is a pickup later in the game that will replace that, only with the running A. So in other words, when you get that pickup later in the game, you can still roll down, hold down and B. 
but you can no longer roll by just pressing A moving forward. It will replace that forward roll with the A button. Just letting you know about that. So don't, don't, try not to get too used to it, especially if you like to get comfortable, you know, with that. But anyway, here we go. All will die. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, watch out for these thingies. They are gonna come at us. Oh no. We got a lot of spiders and stuff. Or these little baby spiders or whatever. Agent, come in, Agent. If you can hear this transmission, I'm seeing unprecedented readings across the entire region. Abort mission and return to the drop point immediately. I repeat, return to the drop point immediately. Yeah, so there's nothing on the right side. Just go back left. You do want to make it all the way back. It's very important to, to do to do that. You basically got to skip. I don't know if things actually time. Like, there's no timer that actually appears. So I don't actually know, like, if this is actually timed or not, you know? These things will actually drop on your face uh, right in front of you. Oh, that's going to hit me. That's okay. They really do any damage. Yeah, those little bugs, if they're on top of you like that, they will actually drop on your face. So you have to be very, very careful. And, oh my god, that thing actually hit me for a lot. Oh my god, it hit me again. Dude, what, 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 what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, man? Come on. You got to play better. Seriously. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't know. Don't you dare. I can't believe I was, I was down to 40 health right there. That's ridiculous. I took like three hits in a row. I, I played so badly right there. Like, I really did. Okay, shoot them all, shoot them all. Did I get them all? There's still lag out right there. Yeah, watch. See? See how they fall? If they're right above you, they will fall and drop onto you. Alright, and with that, I think yep, we made it back. Cool. Alright, time to get out of here. All agents report for duty immediately. Code red. Situation currently in progress. Commanders have been issued drop coordinates and organized strikes will continue until the incident in progress can be co contained. This is the reason Prodigem exists. We are the only line of defense against such evil. We have planned and we have trained for this moment. And we will see victory. Agents are authorized to destroy any monsters they encounter and to utilize any ancient relics which can be secured on site. Doing so may prove the difference between survival and a fate worse than death. Your mission priority is to locate and subdue Princess Amanet by any means necessary. Remember what is at stake. Should we fail? Good luck. Sorry, I was reading fast because for some reason these little cutscene things, the prompts go really fast. You have to read fast. Not very ADA compatible, you know, for certain accommodations for people, but wow. All right. So now we officially start the game. This is like the actual beginning. Uh, we have a map now. So we can go left or right. I'll just tell you right now, left is going to be blocked off here. There's like a steel gate. We will have an ability later in the game that lets us get through those um, steel gates. So we can't do much there yet. We can only go one way actually. And that would be to the right side. Also try not to worry about map exploration right now. There's not a whole lot we can do at the moment as you can see. Um, the areas at the top of your OCD with that stuff. You'll get a chance eventually, later in the game we're going to be coming back here, so try not to worry about that. Good to hear from you, Agent. I trust you were able to locate this terminal with little trouble. This is a save room. You can resume the mission here at a later time, and we can use it to track your progress in the event you become compromised. Several parties of attacks touch down ahead of you and should be nearby. They're holding equipment which will be extremely useful during the mission, and imperative if we hope to stand a chance against Amanet's power. Look for these texts as you, feel, as you get a feel for the area. I'll be monitoring you from Potagem headquarters and will contact you with relevant information. Keep your wits about you. Okay, so just approach one of these and press A and you save the game. It's that simple. Cool. Let's keep going forward now. So... Here we get some new enemies. These like, I don't know, like giant rats that cling on to stuff. They're pretty simple enemies to deal with, as long as you just don't let them, you know, get close to you. Because they do move pretty fast, I will give them that. Uh, we're actually going to go to the right, so we're just going to be looking here at our mini-map quite a lot. Um, or you can just keep... Uh, actually, I'll show you just a little bit here. Leave. Here. What? Okay, it's going to make some zombies appear, but these things actually spawn infinitely, so I suggest just running away from them, because what the hell. Seriously. They just spawn infinitely, I'm not even kidding you. Yeah, so you can look at the mini-map at the bottom right, or you can press minus, and that's the whole map of the game. So it's up to you on what you want to do. Um, but, anyway, uh, so we can't actually go up there. So we really only have one way to go. Just gotta be careful here. 
back up to 99. Yeah, enemies drop health pretty often in this game, which is really good, to be honest. Here's another save point. They don't usually put save points this close, except the first area of the game. They usually spaced them out a little bit more than that. I'm not saying there's like a scarcity on save points in this game. There's not, but they also don't put them that often. Whoops. That thing just hit me for 15? What the hell? That's kind of a lot. Okay, I got it back. Okay, so I should probably go... I mean, I can only go this way. I have to go this way. What am I talking about? Okay, we're gonna go... Because now, if you fall in the water, that's fine. Your character can actually swim in this game. Uh, you will not drown despite being, like, robotic. I don't know too much about the mummy lore and, like, you know, what all this is about, but... Um, you can swim. Even though it might look like you can't swim in this game, you totally can. These bats are really easy, but... Sometimes they will actually shoot stuff at you when they're approaching you while flying. So you just gotta try to be a little fast, you know, with what you're shooting. Anyway, uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Um, this one's kind of... Oh, just, we'll just drop. It's fine. Oh, crap. I missed. I missed. Damn it. Okay. Some of these actually do break. They will respawn, though, so... If you're too slow, just try again once they respawn. Here we get the first ability of the game, the grenade. Basically, you start with two grenades, you can always refill by defeating enemies, kind of like missile expansions and power bomb ex uh, or sorry, not missile expansions, like missile replenishes and power bomb replenishes, you know, in Metroid, just like this too. You can just get them replenished, which is really nice. So for example, we're going to go like this and blow up that wall. We can blow up wooden walls with the grenade. Area map. Area maps are pretty useful. They will actually show you on uh, the location of that particular area. I don't think I need to read this. Let's see. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's on locations. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So here's the whole map of this first area. There's like, how many areas? Like six areas in the game, I think? There might be seven. I don't know. Something like that. But anyway, that's what it looks like. So we can always just um, press minus to see the whole map. Or even the mini map, it shows up but faded. The areas you haven't explored yet, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go down here and show you that that's a steel wall. We can't actually go through steel. The regular grenade that we have at the moment is not able to penetrate steel. So we are gonna have to find... Look at that, that's a grenade right there. We are gonna have to find an alternate way to get through. We'll just go back this way because there's not really much else to do. Now that we have the grenades, we are gonna be forced to turn back all the way through. Okay. Yeah, that thing. You see that right there? That little red thing that they shoot at you? Be careful, because it can get a little annoying. Later on, there's some really awkward spawns with these bats that will actually... It's like they did it to be dicks on purpose, to like guarantee them to hit you. There are some very annoying uh, enemies in this game later on. Like, if you think this is pretty easy right now, it's the beginning of the game, people. It's going to get a lot more annoying later on. Uh, here, we're going to blow this up. Okay, actually, wait a minute. Before I do that, do I really want to go that way? Because what if... No, actually, I do need to go that way. Because there's not really going to be another option yet. So, well, we have to... Because, you see that section up at the very top? We can't actually make it up there yet on either area at the moment. Uh, we do need another ability first before we're able to go all the way through. Um, so, I think what we're going to want to do here is... Yeah, just go straight through, I suppose. Because there's not really much... Oh my god, I went to those bats. I can't even believe I did that. All right, so in here, no, I should probably um, shoot as much stuff as possible here. Let me also, there we go, shoot that. So what I'm gonna wanna do here is, God damn it! get out of the way you, no, but dude, dude, what the hell was that? I just, oh my gosh. The other thing that's kind of annoying in this game is the recoil. Like, oh my god, the freaking knockback that you take after every single hit in this game, it's so frustrating. Here's a health pack. Health packs are basically energy tanks in Metroid. You get a full extra 100 health. Uh-huh, yes. Cool. Increases the chance of survival. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, now I don't think I can actually make it up to the top. Oh my god, I totally missed there, but yeah, like, I don't actually know. 
I can give it a shot to see, but I really doubt that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like going to be blocked off. We'll give it a shot. Well, there is this pathway, because this one is going to lead up and around, but I want to... Yeah, see, I can't go that way. I can't actually make that jump to the left. I do have to go this way. But hopefully this, um... Oh my god, yeah, those, those zombies. Watch out for those zombies. They have a lot more health than any other enemy in the game so far. Okay, we're going to come up here. This is a relic. There are 50 relics in the game, and they don't really have any use from what I know. Gathering various uh, important sites around the world, this area was a uh, great boy, yeah. It could be as many, okay, please collect them for examining it, yeah. Um, they don't really have like a gameplay purpose, it's just for collection purposes, so if you want 100% the game, you do have to get them all. Which can be annoying, you know, to having to do that, but that's what you gotta do. You know, if you're interested. Um, anyway, we're gonna hop around that, and then go, oh my god, you stupid freaking birds. Okay, another, dude, come on. Is there a mission there with you? Very well, we'll need to continue the mission. Find our secondary drop point. Um, okay. We need to travel to a different drop point quickly. Okay. These are basically fast travel locations. You can go from any yellow thing on the map to another yellow thing. We only have uh, one option right now, because... Our starting point was a yellow one, but we are not going to go there right now. Instead, we're going to have to just get out of there and go this way. So let's make our way through. Uh, so, okay, we're going to drop down here, I suppose. We're going to keep dropping down. Okay, there's a thing here. This one, I believe, leads to a save point. Yes, it does. We'll take the save point. Okay, not bad. And there's the exit to the right, but we don't want to go to the right yet, because we actually have another thing to get first. Actually, the game wouldn't even let us go to the right yet, that's right. The guy's like, oh, you gotta get all the stuff first. Okay, that's blocked, as you can see, we can't go that way. So we're forced to go to the left here. We'll take this health. We actually took a fair amount of health right there. Oh my god, I hate those same things. Yeah, you can always blast the lights, by the way. I don't think I've ever mentioned that, but you totally can if you want to. Um, you also can't swim underwater yet, but eventually we are going to have that ability to do so. So, you know, just keep playing through the game and you'll get some good abilities. Like any Metroid game, right? That's pretty much how they work, usually. Okay, here there's... Oh my god, that thing went by so fast. We're gonna go down this way. This, that says the assault rifle. You can always swap weapons with X. Um, I guess we have to initiate... Uh, yep, uh-huh. It's more powerful, yeah. The assault rifle basically has a higher rate of fire and more damage, but it has ammunition. Usually I save those for very tough enemies. I didn't grab location, I will... Yeah, okay, cool. That way. We're going to have to go that way now. Yeah, usually I save uh, that for like bosses and really tough enemies. For normal enemies, I tend to just, you know, use the regular gun. Like, it's fine, to be honest. There's a breakable wall right there. This is going to reconnect back over to the previous shaft. This one's another save point. Okay. So, to be honest, there's not a whole lot more we can do here in this first area. It is actually officially time to leave and get out of here. Um, because... We can't really explore the other area. It's like, we're not going to be able to. So I think we'll just go this way, around, and to the right. I'm going to have to just go through all of this here. Try to avoid taking as much damage. One of the downsides of this game, or I don't know if I should say downsides. I mean, it, it's... Every developer does it differently, but... One of the things that, to me, is a downside, but can make the game harder for most people... Is that save points in this game do not heal you. In most Metroidvania games... There's either save points that fully heal you, or there's some kind of healing station. In this game, there's no healing station for health. There are um, ammunition recharge stations for, like, your guns and grenades and stuff. Uh, there are those stations, but there's no health recharge stations. And the only way to get health is to grind off of it from enemies. So, if you're really low on health, um, 
and you know for a fact that you're gonna like suck at the next part or something, you have to actually, you know, take some time and grind enemies. Um, if I'm in that situation, I will actually go ahead and just tell you all like, oh, I'm gonna grind off screen and then just do a cut. Or if it's the end of the video, I'll just do it in between videos, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna show that boringness, you know, to all of you. But, oh, I, I guess there is one other way. The other way that you can actually gain health is if you get a health pack, your health does fully increase. But there are a limited number of health packs, obviously. Okay, it's this creature again. You do not stand a chance. Oh, really? Really? Well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run through. Because they're infinite, like I keep saying. There's no point in fighting enemies in those areas, because they're just completely infinite. Okay. We're now in the second area of the game. Uh, here, I should probably take some time to kill some of these enemies and stuff to gain some health. Because these are easier enemies. No! That was the big one. Okay, I think that's good. I mean, I didn't get that much because I, I lost it on the big one. But it does help to shoot all these all these freaking birds that are coming at you, you know? Pretty much every enemy you want to, you know. There we go. Look at that, see? Just simply shooting every enemy. That's what's going to happen. Okay, we can't go up there, but there is a relic up there. We'll be getting that later. We don't really have a lot of maneuverability right now, unfortunately, and it's early in the game still. This game is not incredibly long, but it's also not, like, super short, like, you know, the recent Metrovanians I played on my channel have been, like, three episodes long. Like, what the hell is that, you know? Um, so it's not gonna be like that. Definitely not. Okay, now here... Don't know which one's the better option, but... Like, I don't actually know... Oh, no, I, I have to go down, actually, I just realized. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna go... Go down this way. Actually, we're not gonna go down that way. What am I doing? I think what I need to do is go down... To the left? Yeah, there's a save point here. We're gonna take the save point. Always save. Save as often as possible. There's no quick saving in this game, so if you die, you do have to start from the last save point. And there's also another thing that's very punishing in this game. If you played Hollow Knight, it's a similar mechanic. Just think of it like that. What happens in Hollow Knight when you die? Think of it like that. I'll just tell you that. Alright, we're gonna go to the right. These are some new enemies here. These are... They just like throw skele uh, skeleton bones at you or whatever. Um, they're not too crazy. They're actually... I think they're relatively simple enemies unless you're an idiot and you literally run into them like that, you know? Into their bones that they throw at you, but... For the most part, they're pretty straightforward. Especially when you have a good angle from far, like right here. That's the second relic, by the way. They do have a fair amount of health, though. More than any enemy in the game so far, except maybe the zombies. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I missed something. Hold on. Pretty sure I missed something. Which is really stupid of me, because... I think I could have gotten that. Yeah, I totally did. Right here. This here leads to... Max ammo capacity increased. Awesome. Yeah, so now we can carry three grenades, but it also improves the max ammo capacity of all your guns. There are more guns in the game. We're going to get more of them soon, just so you know. Um, right now we just have the assault rifle thing, but we'll get more. And every time you get one of those, it improves the ammo capacity of literally every single... Uh, weapon that you have So that's pretty cool actually That thing's gonna freaking jump out there we go okay. Now we can go through all right, so next room here Okay, these things when you defeat them, they're gonna make a whole bunch of these gross looking enemies. What the hell is that? I don't even know to be honest Literally don't even know those things will just spawn infinite enemies from the ground, kind of like the replenishing enemies from Metroid. Again, you can clearly tell the inspiration from Metroid. Like, it's very obvious, right? Not that that's bad, that's actually cool. I don't have a problem with that at all. I like it, actually. You get to play more Metroid games that aren't Metroid. Okay, 
Okay, right here's the map. We're gonna go ahead and take the map. There we go, now we get a second map. Look at that. Nice. So, if I go up, that is gonna lead to a save, but I think before I do that, I'm actually gonna wanna go all the way down first. Because there is going to be something rather useful. Actually, I don't know, can I get this now? I might not be able to get this now. Oh shit, I can't get this now. Okay. <laughs> well then. We have to get out of there. I think the next thing is actually going to be the boss. Oh god, yep, there's, there are bosses in this game and we are getting there. This over here leads to... Oh yeah. I never survived this fall, yeah. These are, think of it like elevators in Metroid, but before I can do that, I do need an item called the, like to, like the, it's called the Rapple Gear, to be able to get the rope and stuff to like go down. So I can't do that quite yet, actually. This door over here, I think this is the way I need to be going to, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Then we're gonna, Pretty humongous, actually. This room is really big. But there's also not a whole lot I can do yet. The game is kind of forcing me to go one way. One specific direction, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because all these are closed, actually. All of them are. There is that pathway to the right. Uh, oh, see, there's an item up there at the top, though. Oh, I do want to go there, but before I do that... Oh, God. Okay, stop giving me that freaking ammo. I don't need that. I, I want health. Oh boy. Taking too much damage here. Yeah, that's the annoying thing. That they are going to start giving you a bunch of ammo that you don't even need. Um, even when you're full. When you're in full ammo, the game will still give you a bunch of useless ammo. Instead of health, which I clearly need. Over any ammo. Like, look at that. Just because you're giving me that. Which makes it even harder to, like, actually, you know, grind off of enemies for health. Anyway, we're going to keep going, so that's what the third relic now? Remain cautious, agent or reading suggests a very concentrated source of dark energy. Really? I think that's the gameplay of saying, hey, there's a boss coming soon, so you know, watch out. Watch out and whatever. That's useless. I'm hitting all these so I can get some damn health and no health. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we can't go that way, we actually do have to go down here. One thing that in which they are generous sometimes though is that usually in save points or near save points they will spawn a bunch of these items which will give you, which you can destroy. Or not items, I don't know why I said items, just like mostly scenery stuff. Oh, I can't actually get that. Damn. But yeah, see, they'll spawn a bunch of this stuff. Uh, easy enemies, just stuff you can destroy, like scenery stuff, and that will, like, look at all this, all this stuff right there. You can destroy all that. We're about to get into a save point and close to a boss soon, damn it. Just make sure you actually fight the damn boss in full health. I'm gonna go to the left first. There we go. Game saved. Cool. Let's go ahead and destroy all of these. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to my other gun the assault rifle because you do usually want to use this gun instead against bosses. This boss is not particularly difficult. Um, most bosses in this game are pretty average in difficulty. Not super easy but not too challenging either. So here we go. Hmm. I should have. I don't know why they didn't read that. Alright. So we're gonna spawn something here. Here's the first boss of the game. It's a humongous spider. It looks very scary. You're gonna to want to use your diagonal shooting a lot in this boss. You're gonna definitely want to do that. Like that. He will sometimes come right under you. I usually tend to... Oh god, that landed right on me. When he does that... I really should get out of here. Now when he spawns the little babies, I do recommend that you go ahead and use your little gun. And then get the health immediately. And there's this. Just simply move away from that. That's actually really easy. See, it's a relatively straightforward boss, except the boulders. The boulders are pretty annoying, and they're kind of hard to predict sometimes. Okay, then jump away a little, because he might spawn some more babies. He did. Okay. 
I'm almost out of ammu uh, ammunition, by the way. That move is so easy to dodge, as long as you're away from him. Okay, I actually ran out of ammo completely. That one, look at that. Just simply move away and that's it. But he will die soon. God damn it. Freaking... Oh, perfect. Straight shot right there. Look, there's a lot of damage here. Okay, they're coming close to me. God damn it, how did I... That, that's a huge mess. Oh, I got some ammo. You can also stand right in the middle to avoid it. That green move, I love it when he does a green move because it's such a waste of time for him. The boulder move is a stupid one that I hate so much because it's just really hard to see where it's coming, you know? And that's it. It's dead. I didn't even take one full energy tank of damage there, so you can totally do that, you know, pretty easily without getting a single energy tank. Anyway, we're going to move on now. We're going to move forward. And we're going to get a nice little ability here. A lot of the abilities in this game are in statues. I don't know why or if that has something to do with the movie. I just I don't watch it. Cling to ceilings by holding... There we go. So it's pretty simple. I'm just going to skip this. You don't need to actually read that. Okay. To simply hold ZL or ZR and you will cling on. You can shoot, but you can't move while shooting. So if you shoot, you're going to stop temporarily. Anyway, this ability does let us... Why did I run into that? Does let us explore a lot now? On the move, we managed to locate her current position. She's... Okay, cool. Caverns leading downward should be marked in green your map, but you never sort of have to fall on it. Cool. Like I said, I mean, I know where to get that, so I know exactly where to go next. But there are some other pickups that we can get along the way. Those will be important to obtain, you know? Okay, we're gonna grab that. Let's just be on our way. We are gonna save, because we just beat the boss. Very important to do that, you know? Awesome, game saved, cool. Okay, let's go ahead and move. All right, so here, we're just gonna wanna jump on this thing. Basically make our way up, slowly but surely. It's gonna be kind of a climb. It does suck early on in the game when you don't really have a lot of, you know, maneuverability uh, to get higher in these areas. It can be a little difficult at times. There's also a lot of these bugs that are just gonna fall on my face. Okay, here I'm gonna wanna go, cause I'm in, oh, I, think I, I think I'm gonna wanna go this way first. Even though I want to go around, I'll just take the hit here, I don't care. Okay, there's got to be a way to... Get up, I think it's... I think I can make that. Yes, I can. Oh my god, you still... No! You knocked me off. God freaking damn it, dude. Are you serious? I hate those things so much. Stupid skeletons. Not really. I don't actually hate them. It's just you can get unlucky with their timing. I, I gotta shoot them. I actually have to shoot them down because that guy started seeing me from outside the, off the freaking screen. I don't know how he did that. So yeah, just make sure you kill him, man. I didn't think I had to actually do that, but I guess I do. Oh my god, dude. There we go. Jesus. I'm actually kind of taking a lot of damage here. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's going to be a problem. Okay, go back in the middle. Because that recoil, that knockback will destroy you. You have to be incredibly careful about that stuff. Okay, this guy definitely wants to shoot diagonal down. Before I try to do any type of, you know. Uh, no, no, we're not risking that hell am I doing? Made it, okay. Oof, that's pretty tough right there to make that series of, uh, you know, climbing. We got the shotgun. That's a pretty good one. Um, you have to be close, obviously, to get some max damage done, but we'll talk about that later, I suppose. Okay, so we got that. That's cool. Oh, I actually have the equipment. I don't want to have the equipment right now. What am I? Dude, that was right there. Come on, man. Oh, that's so stupid. Taking so much damage. That's shotgun ammo, by the way, in case you're wondering. Dude, I was right there. I think that's actually where I have to go. I just didn't think that there was going to be a freaking skeleton enemy right there. 
Alright. Well, anyway, I think I'm actually going to end the video here. Well, I guess I can wait a tiny bit more. I'll make it to another pickup that I get first. But yeah, I can go this way now. Which is pretty awesome. I did not think that was going to happen. We'll just take the damage here. I don't, I don't even care, to be honest. Oh, I actually can't make it. Okay. Well. Yeah, because there's nothing to cl there's nothing to cling on. Jeez. Went pretty badly, actually. Alright, well, at least we... Um, did that. I didn't mean to fall there either, but... Oh, well. It's all good. No health. Alright, so this means that what we actually have to do is just make it back through this ginormous room. Well, that's a good one there. That's fine, that's okay. Perfect. And then here, so we can just go down, or we could technically go back up and, and... Actually, we do want to go back up there, because... There is going to be a useful save point, plus a warp. And I think we want to take the warp pretty much right away, and you'll, you'll see why. Is this beneficial, because it'll give us a really good item relatively soon. We actually came from there, what am I doing? It's, it's up higher. It's up this way. Here's the save point. So next time, we are going to go ahead and uh, continue onward. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.